Hi, today I'm going to show you how to access and log into the Mountain Birdwatch data entry portal, the login credentials, as well as the link for this web page will be given to you by VCE. Once you're on the web page, you want to click on this link here. So the, the link will take you right here. And what I see here is many different routes, different years. Uh, what you will see is only one route once you log in with your login credentials. So let's say I've been assigned to Paso Corner Way and I want to click ready for entry. On this web page here, there is a date field and you want to make sure you have the exact date and you do that by clicking on this icon here and let's say I did my uh, data gathering on the 31st so I click July 31st uh, regarding this question here if there are any problems on the route it's more of a general question so if I say yes I do have to put something in the box I do have to put what the problem was but if I say no I don't really have to put anything in that box regarding uh, these miles it's kind of self-explanatory as well as the time however time needs to be in uh, decimal numbers you will click next to go on the next web page so here we see uh, six different stations and let's say for any any reason I wasn't able to visit station 4 I'm gonna click unable to visit and I'm gonna state the reasoning behind it and then I can click confirm right now I don't want to do that but that's how you would do it if something happened so if I want to enter data I click enter data here it shows me uh, the route that I'm on the station the exact coordinates there's even a map here and also the elevation uh, the date is the, the same concept as earlier and then the time is again very similar let's say I did it at 1030 so I can just do 30 here and by clicking in on this blue box here you do either AM or PM uh, this is kind of self-explanatory too just a drop down menu and uh, I've mentioned more specific questions earlier so these are the ones uh, whereas that first question is kind of more of a general question this is more specific so we can see the example here is unable to perform any counts at this station due to, to excessive noise from flowing water I'm gonna say that I didn't have any problems but if you say yes you do have to put something in this box much like earlier detect the species let's say I only saw boreal chickadee and uh, black cap chickadee and I'm gonna click continue here so this table here uh, is really a table that will uh, tell us how many birds there were uh, within the 50 meter radius from the spot where you were standing and beyond that uh, 50 meter radius so let's say I saw three black cap chickadees within 50 meters and maybe two beyond that maybe same thing for boreal chickadee and I saw uh, no fox pero at all and then uh, a problem encountered so maybe uh, d random dog started barking so I would say dog started barking uh, again this is the same concept as earlier if you say yes here to the problems you do have to state what that problem or those problems are if you say no you don't have to really say anything and then once you're all set with this you just uh, click visit complete and that's it thank you for listening